in this video we are going to learn how to identify even numbers and odd numbers in different categories of integers even numbers are integers which are divisible by two after the division the answer will return an integer which can be found on the number line that means even numbers have no remainders or leftovers after this division next consider the number line recall that the number line consists of positive numbers negative numbers and whole numbers and this entire family is called integers also recall that negative numbers can also be called negative integers and positive numbers can also be called counting numbers or positive integers or non-negative integers or simply natural numbers but our aim in this video is to simply identify even numbers and odd numbers from the number line using different categories let's start with category one category one will be natural numbers natural numbers start from one to infinity on this number line our limit here is 10 let's identify even and odd numbers from 1 to 10 even numbers are all the numbers that are divisible by 2 1 divided by 2 will not return an integer then this becomes an odd number next 2 divided by 2 this will return 1 1 can be found on the number line that means 2 is an even number next 3 divided by 2 this will return a decimal or a fraction which is not allowed then this becomes an odd number next 4 divided by 2 this will return 2 2 can be found on the number line that means 4 is an even number next 5 divided by 2 this will return a fraction or a decimal which is not allowed that means 5 is an odd number next 6 divided by 2 this result will return an integer 3 can be found on the number line and we're going to conclude that 6 is an even number next 7 divide by 2 you can observe the fluctuation we have odd even odd even odd even and it continues like this also you can see or observe a pattern we have one two three four five and it continues in this order you can see that the answers being returned by the even numbers can form another number line if we separate all the even numbers and put them in a group and we collect all the odd numbers and equally put them in a separate group what we have identified are even numbers and odd numbers in positive numbers or in counting numbers or in non-negative integers or in positive integers or in natural numbers this is category one of identifying even and odd numbers in integers remember in this grouping there is no zero inclusive because zero is not a natural number 
Next, let's consider category two. In category two, we want to consider even and odd numbers in whole numbers. Whole number is simply positive integers or natural numbers with the inclusion of zero. I will say zero divided by two. Zero divided by any number will definitely return zero. Zero can be found on the number line. That means zero is an even number. You can observe, unlike in category one, where we excluded zero from even numbers because we were considering positive numbers. For whole numbers, zero is included in the even numbers. Category two is identifying even numbers and odd numbers in whole numbers. Next, in category three, we are going to consider the negative numbers or negative integers. Even numbers and odd numbers are tested with the division of two. If we divide this by two, it's going to return an odd number because this is a fraction. Next, minus two divided by two. This division will return minus one. Minus one can be found on the number line. That means minus two is an even number. Next, minus three divided by two. This will return a fraction or a negative decimal. We are going to conclude that minus three, which have been tested by two, is an odd number. Just like the positive numbers and whole numbers, negative numbers also have fluctuation. You see, we have minus one here, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, which can form another number line. Also, you can observe, we have even number here, even number, even number. And in between, we have odd numbers. After even number is odd, after odd is even, after even is odd, after odd is even, and after that we have odd. The same fluctuation we have on this side, the same pattern, we observe the same pattern with the negative numbers. If we group the even numbers on the negative numbers, and we also group the odd numbers, we're going to have category three. You can see that even numbers here are grouped and the odd numbers are also grouped in accordance with the numbers we have here, which is just up to minus 11. Whenever you see this identification, this is identification of even numbers and odd numbers in negative numbers or in negative integers. Next, in group four, we're going to consider the entire number line. That is positive numbers, whole numbers, and negative numbers all together. We're going to identify all the even numbers here, put them together. All the odd numbers here, we're going to put them together. In this selection, this is identifying even numbers and odd numbers in integers. You can see that in the even number, zero is there, two to 10 is also there, and the negative minus two minus four up to minus 10 is also there. And for the odd numbers, we also added all the negative numbers and all the positive numbers together. With this, always read the exam question to understand what is expected of you. And when teaching in the class, a teacher can use category one or category two or 
category 3 or category 4 depending on the age group of the student but as an advanced student this is your category and this is the entire family tree in the classification of numbers whenever you are watching a video or reading a textbook covering even numbers and odd numbers try to identify the category the textbook or the video is considering i hope this video was helpful watch the next video on prime numbers and composite numbers to continue learning about numbers